God says, You have walked in the way of evil and the way of righteousness. You have walked in the way of death and the way of life. You have also taken others with you on every journey you have gone. For never do my creations go the way they go, alone. You, then, have blessed and harmed others along the way. You have breathed a little more life into them and taken life from them, as well. You have enhanced their journeys and put stumbling blocks before them. I forgive you your sins and encourage you in the way of faithfulness in life. Follow me, closely, and I will lead you in the way of life, love, righteousness, truth, fulfillment, peace, and joy. Turn from me and none of these shall be yours. Painfully so. Walk in my ways and you will know my grace is upon you. My love will surround you and fill you. Bless you, my child, my beloved one. God says, walk in the way of righteousness. Speak in the way of truth. Live in the way of my son and humble yourself before me. It is in confession that you will find release. It is in suffering that you will know my presence, strength, and peace. It is in praising me that you will know joy, and it is in forgiving your enemies in which you will learn true love. My way requires much, though it is very easy. You make it hard, not me. You make it hard by not knowing or believing the fullness of my love not trusting the completeness of my forgiveness or acceptance, not giving yourself over to my redeeming power. You declare me the Almighty One. Yet, deep within you wonder if I am strong enough, care enough, love you enough to really help you. Stop trivializing my power and presence. It is a denial of faith. I am the God who provides all you need for the life you seek. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the intimacy of love and the bonds of peace. From the foundations of the earth, from its first signs of life, I have been the author and creator of life. Can you really make your life like you think you can? Can you control the weather that grows the crops and waters the earth? Can you dwell in the soul of another? Can you give an inheritance that will exist after the earth has passed away? Just how powerful do you believe you are? Will your wisdom and knowledge satisfy every person's longing, even your own? Will people's faith in you and dependence upon you never fail them? Will your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual strength never give out? Remember me in every time. It is I who will show you the way, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, in sickness, and in health. I am the God who provides what you need for the fulfillment of your life, not you. God says, you are a part of a community of the faithful. You have freedom in Christ, yet you are accountable to the body of Christ. The greater body of Christ that extends beyond your own local congregation. As I sent prophets to the people Israel, so I send those who speak for me in these days. Test their words against the gospel. Test the spirit of their soul. Yet pay heed to their words for you have much to learn and live. Oh, you have your moments of holiness and faithfulness, but you also have your moments of arrogance and rebellious independence. Some will come who will speak a hard word to hear. Yet, they come from me. Receive them with openness and respect, for the word you reject, the word you refuse to hear may be coming directly from me.